All right, this morning we're going to be talking about a tool that we have the option uh, to do. And I'm going to show a quick example of that. Uh, this might be an option to evaluate in some cases. I'll get into just a couple of examples where, you know, it's benefited me. Um, so the good news is that we can create filtered statistics. So when we update statistics, we are updating the, the standard set of statistics that SQL Server creates generally. Um, we can actually create our own statistics and we can create filtered statistics. I'll give you an example in a second. Uh, the bad news is we still need to test and verify that these enhance what we're doing. Okay, so it's not a hammer and nail problem where every situation requires this. Uh, in most cases, this may not be helpful versus other statistics because the query optimizer in general is going to create something it perceives as needed. Chances are if you think it's needed and based on what you're doing with your queries, the, the optimizer is going to be doing uh, something along uh, with that. Okay. And I've used this technique to fine tune tables, queries without adding any indexes, and it worked well. It's a useful tool to test and consider when you're in a bind. You know, when it comes to query tuning, I like to, to say that I start with the query itself. That's where I'm going to try to fine tune, rework it. Every query should, you should be able to rewrite every query three different times, at least. If you're, if you're, in my opinion, if you're a senior level developer, you should be able to rewrite anything at least three times, okay? The next thing I like to do is to, uh, update statistics, you not believe how many times it that has been the issue. It just has never had its statistics updated. And that, that that's the difference between a three minute query and a less than a second query. And then of course, finally, yes, there there are cases where indexing is, is important. Okay. Um, and so it's not that even though I, I bash indexing on this YouTube channel, I'm not really bashing it. I'm just saying that that to me is the least creative solution. It's generally reworking the query. And I'd say about 90% of the queries I've tuned, it's reworking the query. Now, what's really cool about um, being able to create statistics, as you can see, we have these four statistics. And these are the you know standard statistics that SQL Server creates based on uh, what I've done in terms of searches. Well, let's suppose I want to create a filtered statistic. So I'm going to create it, the name right here. So create statistics, the st statistics name on the table, which column price. And notice I'm applying a filter here, right? I'm saying, hey, let's create the statistics and let's look and, and let's track statistics on where the price is greater than 115. And then let's do a full scan when we create this. Now, when I create this statistic, you'll notice it adds it to the table. Now when I update statistics, this is another statistics that it will be, a statistic that, that, that it will be updating, right? So it is going to be included now in that unless I'm specifically updating certain stats. So where has this worked well? So when it comes to OLTP environments, everybody has their own uh, approach as a, a database administrator, my approach has always been that in an OLTP environment, I keep indexes to a bare minimum. And in some cases, I don't have indexes at all. I'll, I'll give you a good example of one, a very important process that I have where I am optimizing for inserts because, and updates that is, uh, inserts and updates, because it is a table that a robot is constantly, I say trolling, but what it really is is constantly watching this table and doing things based on this table. So it needs to be able to be uh, to read quickly and then to update quickly and then to insert quickly. So it's doing those three things and it has to do those three things fast. So, you know, testing that approach with even one index starts becoming very costly when it needs to do a lot of the inserts because people forget that, you know, um, uh, indexes can slow down inserts big time. Uh, on the flip side, the, uh, the speed of reads is faster with indexes, but the overall cost that's created by the inserts being slowed down um, is not offset. So what I mean by that is when I weigh the, the updates, the inserts, and the selects, um, the cost by adding an index is greater overall. Well, what about using a filtered statistic? Because there is an occasional query that hits that was the only query of mine that took, let's say, a minute to run. Obviously, there's no indexes, so it's going to take a minute to run, right? Well, not really, actually. One of the ways that I got around this was creating a filtered statistic, 
um, updating statistics right before the query ran because that took less than a second to do. Now think about that. It takes less than a second in this case to update statistics even on the one that I added plus the other statistics that it needed. So less than a second to do that and then the query ran in less than a second because the filter um, helped out. Now of course if I did it by updating statistics without the filter the query dropped from one minute to eight seconds, but with the filtered statistics now added, the query dropped from one minute to less than a second, okay? Uh, when I add the total cost of that, which that did not negatively impact the inserts at all, uh, the total cost of that was it took about a full second to update statistics and run the select query, um, and that normally, the select query took a minute, and whereas the indexing, well, yes, it sped up the, the selects, or the, the reads, I should say, to, you know, definitely less than a minute. It was probably within two seconds, but the problem with the indexing is then it slowed down the inserts. So that's an example of a cost-benefit analysis of just kind of the options that I had to do and how I stepped through that particular problem. I'm nearing six minutes. So the point being here is that this is an option and a tool that you have. You may find that it's helpful in certain cases. In other cases, it may not help you at all. Um, so yes, there's gonna still need, uh, you're still gonna need to test and definitely compare but it does give you an alternative and for an OLTP environment um, I cannot stress enough my, my approach is the indexing is a last choice because there is a cost and there is an overhead added anytime we add an index.